back-to-back -back overtime wins. They upset one seed Xavier. Coming up next, the second game of our semifinal, Villanova Butler. Here's Bulldogs first-year head coach Laval Jordan earlier in the locker room. So great environment out there, right? Waiting on you. It's a heck of a right, heck of a day already, right? Yeah, now. Right, you know this, right? You believe in each other, right? Now, what's the goal, the bridge? To get from your goals to the accomplishment, right? Be right, disciplined. So they're gonna test it as much as anybody. You come out just with great focus, great energy, and remember that right, you deserve it. You earned it, you deserve to be here, it's your time, right? It's your time to be here on the moment, right? Signed up for it, you owned it last night, right? Step up and own it again and do it together, right? And fight like crazy and fight together, ready? All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. And remember last night, Butler won their first ever Big East tournament game, upsetting Seton Hall by one. The reward, a date with two seed Villanova. Villanova very much on track for a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. Player introductions going on right now on the court. Phil Booth, maybe his best game back from that fractured hand last night in their quarterfinal win. Be interesting to see what kind of defensive pressure Villanova comes with. Jay Wright hasn't been happy with their defense of late. Butler's Kamar Baldwin said our motto is gritty, not pretty. It's working so far. For the call, Gus Johnson, Jim Jackson. All right, Stoner, thank you very much. Ready for our final game of the semifinals. Villanova and Butler. Gus Johnson, all with Kamar. How about that game? I, the last game. I, I, you know what? I wanted to put on the uniform. I, I said, <laughs> and, I wanted, right. and I can't run and lick right now, but I wanted to get out there and play, man. Unbelievable. Providence coming back from 17 down. Now this one, these yep. teams, just like our first game, split the regular season series. Villanova losing to Butler at Hinkle and Butler losing to Villanova at Wells Fargo. Two teams eerily similar to each other. Three-point line. They don't beat themselves. Heady, smart individuals. So it's a matter of the teams not making the least mistakes you're going to win this game. All right, let's go to Lisa. Well, Butler did watch that Providence upset too, Gus. And if you think that that gives them extra motivation for them to take down number two after they watch number one go down, think again. I just spoke to Laval Jordan. He said, maybe if we haven't been there before, but we beat Nova the first meeting, we're going to act like we've been there before because we have been there before. These guys don't need any more rah-rah from me, Gus. All right, Lisa. Let's take a look at the Jeep Grand Cherokee starting lineup. Who, who jumps out at you for both teams, Jimmy? Well, how about Sean McDermott? I think he can be an X factor for Xavier. And how about Phil Booth playing well? Multi-dimensional offense and defense should have an effect on the game. And your officials for this evening's second game. Let's take a look. Mike Stevens, Pat Driscoll, and Jeff Clark. Villanova and Butler split the two games this year. As we mentioned, Butler beat then number one Villanova in December 101-93. Nova got revenge in February 86-75. to So two high-scoring games. This one could be special. Butler beating Seton Hall 75-74 in last night's quarterfinals. Kamar Baldwin scored a career-high 32. And Tyler Weidman, the senior, with the game winner. Weidman, Spellman in the circle, and the tap control by Villanova. Mikhail Bridges, first shot of the game, and he's not messing around. <laughs> but the quick pass, get the jump ball. Now you set your defense. Little full court, half court press a little bit. Bridges with 25 points last night, eight rebounds, four assists, and two blocks in 33 minutes. Thompson. And he traveled. GQJ. 17th season at Villanova. His philosophy for games like this survive. How you can do, it, man. You played each other twice. You kind of know the tendencies. It's a matter of who can execute their game plans effectively, offensively, and defensively. Here's the player of the year of the Big East Conference, Jalen Brunson. Has that knocked out of his hand?
Bill Booth, who's battled numerous injuries during his career last year, a knee injury this season, a hand injury, but he's coming off one of his best games, had 15 points, it's returning in Bridges, driving to the basket and jams it down. And that's going to be a matchup we have to keep our eye on, Gus, with McDermott guarding Bridges. He has to stay solid. You give him an inch, he's going to take a mile and make you pay for it. Bridges also the anchor for their defense. Here's Weidman, guarded by Spellman, the freshman. And it's stolen away by Bridges. Pascal steps into a three and hits. Villanova off to a great start as they take an eight to nothing lead over Butler. Villanova beat Marquette 94 to 70 in last night's quarterfinals. Thompson driving, kicking. Keelan Martin hit shoulder fake down the lane. Chase his shot. Can't get the roll. Back to Ryan. Amari Spellman with a rebound. Brunson, the crossover down the lane, and he's fouled. Bridges off to a hot start right here. Just a little swing through floor. Close out by McDermott. No backdoor help. Able to exploit McDermott. Unbelievable. And what a luxury it is to have, Gus, when you can have two of your post players that can step out, spread the defense, and knock down long perimeter jump shots. Jalen Brunson at the line. He had 21 last night on 8 of 13 shooting, three assists, two rebounds in 29 minutes. Yes, is there any other point guard in the country that you would want running your squad? I don't think so. No? I mean, you got some dynamic point guards out there, but the combination of the, the headiness, the intelligence, you know, when to get his teammates involved, when he needs to score, great combination right there for this young man. Villanova off to a great start, 10 to nothing. Baldwin was excellent last night, had a 30-point game. Here he is, south of the key, guarded by Bridges. Pulls up in his face. Batted out, loose. Played forward, Brunson. Booth. Now Pascal, and that's a blocking foul against McDermott. By right that time. Butler in transition, scrambling to try to get back in again. When you close out to this Villanova team, they're very good at showing and going. So now you have to get down to your defensive stance. If you're not, you're going to pick up fouls or you'll get blown by for easy layups. DiVincenzo comes in for Phil Booth. DiVincenzo was starting while Booth was on the sideline with the hand injury. Now he's coming back off the bench. Top of the key, Bridges. That one will say a lot of bounds. Oh, DiVincenzo picks it up, and Pascal lays it in. Butler falling asleep on the back line. Well, the ball was short, the shot was short, and everybody kind of looked up and like, you go get it, I'll go get it. Okay, well, Spillman had inside position. How about the save, DiVincenzo, quick pass right into Pascal, and you're talking about a team that came out focused and ready to play. I love the fact that Jay Wright went with a little pressure up front after they scored. That, that's to get the body moving. Be more aggressive. Eric Pascal misses the free throw. 12 to nothing, Villanova. Jorgensen has checked in the George Washington transfer. They need him to hit some shots in this game. He's been struggling a bit with his jumper. Mark. Jorgensen a fade. In and out. Tapped up. Pascal with a two-hand rebound. Pascal down the lane. The kick. Bridges step back. And good. Big time player right here. 
Seven points for Mikhail Bridges and Villanova blowing out this Butler team to start. McDermott. And DiVincenzo saves it from going out of bounds. Butler down two touchdowns early. Brunson. Backing up on Jorgensen. All the way across the lane. Pulls up. Left hand goes. <laughs> Old school. What? You can post, some, post your point guard up. Allow him to go one and one on one. And you can't help because you have so many shooters around the perimeter. And Butler has to call the timeout. Down 16 nil. 15-37 to play in the first half. Back to the mecca of basketball right after this. Thursday. I was trying to see if I could get some business with you, bro. Actually, you know, we're kind of off the clock right now. I'm talking to Paperboy. Okie dokie. This is what you love to see from a young man. He, he came in as a defensive player, made impactful plays, but along the way, Gus, he's found his offense. And my goodness, is he's a special young player. From Bridges, 25 points, 24 points, and 23 in his last three games while averaging eight rebounds and shooting 56%. And he had a 21-point game at Butler on 9 to 15 shooting. But at Villanova, scored only 10 on 4 of 13. He was frustrated that day as well, even though they won. So let's see if Butler can find a way to get on the board. 0 for 4 to start this game, and an offensive foul on Nate Fowler, setting a screen. So Laval Jordan, 38 years old. Yesterday, he guided Butler to their first ever win in the Big East Tournament. Isn't that crazy? The first win, you, you think this Butler team would have won before? In his first season. Even Chinzo has it knocked out of his hands and a foul coming up. We'll head the other way. I think sometimes Villanova is an underrated defensive team. Well, they place position D. Okay, they funnel you into areas on the court. They shut down the driving lane. They don't reach in and foul. And they support each other, especially on the back line. Baldwin on the pick and roll. Finds Thompson. Lefty jump shot. Way short. Here comes Jalen Brunson. The kick, Spellman, a three. 19 nothing. And Gus, that play was all set up because DiVincenzo sprinted to the corner. That opened up that gap right there in trailer for Spellman. And foul and foul by Cosby Roundtree. Uh, take a look. DiVincenzo right here is going to run and sprint. That's going to allow Spillman to get in here once Jalen Brunson commits. You're caught in between. Who do I go get? Excellent play. Excellent use of transition offense for Villanova. Spellman nine points last night on three of five shooting. He hit three threes. Keelan Martin. Now Thompson curls down the lane and will get the roll. Butler finally on the board. And be quite sure this Butler team is going to make a little run. They're too good of a team to be offensive weapons. Baseline boom. Deep jumper. Rebounded. McDermott. Here comes Thompson. McDermott wide open. Pure. There you go. Butler trying to shake off the Hanks. Well, I love it, too, that Aaron Thompson really pushed the ball right there. He forced the Villanova defense below the free throw line, and you make plays around the perimeter really quick, and McDermott able to knock in that transition. Three-point shot. Bridges guarded by Martin. Gillespie on the baseline, and a foul. Man, watch how deep Aaron Thompson is able to get no one picks him up gets below 
or at the free throw line. And now look at everybody right here. Villanova is down. That makes an easy pass for a step in for McDermott. Nobody can recover in time. So you can kind of duplicate that by getting the stop and getting out and get some points. Vincenzo, the inbounder, he'll send it into the backcourt for Gillespie. Colin Gillespie, 6'3", freshman. Bridges got his man to the air. Extra pass, Booth up top. Got it. Simple basketball, Gus. Simple basketball. You swing it, you force the defense to try to recover the pump fake. You bite for it, I'm going to make you pay. I swing it to my backboard partner's flash. Three-point shot. Tell you what, when you look at Villanova, I think the water boys got a nice game. Everybody can Everybody shoot the rock. Can shoot it, man. Pops it across the lane, the kick. Martin, five to shoot. Crosses over. And a foul. Keelan Martin picks up the foul, his first. That's so that last possession by Butler, here's the difference with the two teams. Badly had the jump shot in the corner, okay, off the dribble, penetration, turned it down. Now you go into your shot clock, it is deeper. You have to try to force a play and you turn the ball over. Foul, Jordan. Spent a long time with John Beeline as an assistant at the University of Michigan. A lot of tricks from the professor. Bridges gets it back. Gillespie. The kick. Pascal. Booth's got a quick trigger. Gets to the hole and draws a foul. It's wide and clobbered him. Second foul on Weidman, so most likely he'll have to sit. And that will send Phil Booth to the line to shoot free throw. The Villanova team is so good at making the defense scramble. And when you close out, you have a second late that can beat you. Phil Booth, junior from Baltimore, Maryland. Gets the first one to fall. So three things you need to know about Phil Booth. His favorite song, Hard Knock Life by Jay-Z. Favorite board game, Scrabble. You'd be surprised. Hey, he's a Frank Sinatra fan, the chairman of the board. From Hoboken, New Jersey, right across the bridge or the tunnel. So we had some cool young guys that Alpha Diablo loves country. Now we got Phil Booth with a little Frank Sinatra. I love it. It's culture. Baldwin down the lane and draws a foul. No, offensive foul. Right now, Butler just out of sync on both ends of the floor. Uh, they're out of sync, but it's a reason why it's this Villanova team. They force you again into traffic. Jalen Brunson gives up his body. And the thing about it, when you have an empty possession right now, the way this Villanova team is rolling, they're going to make you pay for it on the opposite end of the court. Pascal, guarded by Badley. Seven to shoot, Booth lobs it inside, Spellman. Kicks it back off to Booth, pump fake, dribble drive down the lane, left hand, Figaro got it. So unselfish, this team. Yeah, but you know what, Laval, Laval Jordan has to be frustrated. He keeps telling his troops to stay down on the pump fake. And Jorgensen banks in a three. He called it. He called it. The ATM is open. Uh -huh. No matter how I get in there, as long as you make it, the, the butler has to be more disciplined on their closeouts. Runs it down the lane quickly, shows it, step back, jumper, got it. Too easy. No resistance right now in the butler defense. Six points for Boogie. Baldwin in the corner. Pulls up on Spellman. Butler has a team. Three for nine from the field. Pascal a three. 
Baldwin and Martin, no points so far. Keenan Martin, a three. No rhythm. Lead on this team. And a whistle and foul, offensive foul on Spellman. The lawnmower steady as usual. Let me get inside, use my body, feathery touch early on. Jay Wright's Villanova Wildcats strutting their stuff at the world's most famous arena, up 28-8. Jay. You gotta be a killer. Everything counts. Gotta get to the offensive glass. Everything counts. You understand that? It's a long game, guys. Hey, you gotta respect the game and you gotta respect Butler. They play every possession, right? They're not gonna stop playing the way they play. We gotta keep doing the right things. Gus, even the best teams have to be reminded that. But we saw what happened in the first game. Xavier was up by 17. And this Butler team is capable of coming back and it just takes a switch in the thought process and mentality to do that. And I love the fact that Jay Wright is still staying aggressive on the defensive end with this little half-court press. Christian David is checked in for Butler. He wears number 25. Thompson, Jorgensen. Fowler inside, calling for it. Badly on the court as well. Here's Jorgensen driving. And a foul. Pascal coming in, Brunson call for the foul. His first. Omar Spellman will take a blow. Big East Rookie of the Year. Not necessarily a wise decision to throw that ball. And it wasn't, but DiVincenzo and Brunson both read that play out and were both right there in the middle to, to get a deflection. Jorgensen 12 to shoot. Inside Fowler, guarded by Pascal. Puts it down, take it away. Great hands by the Villanova defense. Six turnovers for Butler. Vincenzo on the handoff. Vincenzo jumping. And out of bounds. Gus is all about being active. Great job by Pasco to push. Is up right here to Gillespie able to get his hands inside, deflect the ball, doing your work early, getting Nate Fowler up the lane, and now that helps the, the defense now collapse a little bit more, converges on the space. Spellman back in. Villanova is a team shooting 10 of 14 from the field, 71%. Butler 3 of 10. Gets to the hole and a foul. Aaron Thompson, freshman from Glendale, Maryland. And he'll go to the free throw line. He was scoreless last night against Seton Hall in 19 minutes. Only took two shots. First one good. I think he's going to be a really good player here with Butler. I love his change of direction, his speed. He already has a nice size, long arms, kind of like Kamar Butler. I mean, Kamar Baldwin, once he gets more confident in, you know, knocking down that open jump shot, that'll open up his game. And both free throws good. What's the goal right now if you're Butler? Well, you got to get some momentum, get some stops, cut into this lead, feel confident about yourself, and still 
you know, just a little over nine minutes left in the first half. There's a lot that can happen to Butler, but you got to buckle in on this end. Runs it, top of the arc. In and out. Loose ball. Pascal with the offensive rebound. New shot clock. Spellman sets his feet. Ugochenzo going up strong. Jorgensen finally pulls it down. Excellent defense by Spellman. Not letting the ball go inside the foul on the mismatch. Thompson. Jorgensen, the runner inside. Cook squares shoulders into Mari Spellman with a rebound. Jalen Brunson. Offensive foul. His second. Guys, two great defensive plays right here. Aaron Thompson anticipating the pass, but the play before Villanova. Excellent defense and not allowing the mismatch to happen inside on Brunson and Fowler. Jay Wright with some words for Pat Driscoll as Brunson picks up his second and has to sit. 28-10. Leaning in, gets right by Spellman for the layup. Excellent play that time, Fowler able to slip right inside. Again, not having any pressure on the passer, Gus. That pass was able to go in a straight line right down to the block. And another touch foul. This time is Thompson, 7.23 to play, 28 to 12. Villanova back after this. So Dave here is taking the family up to the lake. This game goes on to face Providence. What a comeback for Ed Cooley and the Friars. They were down by 17 in this game. Ended up taking the game into overtime and finally prevailing 75 to 72. Now let's go inside the huddle with Laval Jordan. Just keep your composure down there. Keep working. Keep your spacing. We can attack the paint, right? Keep looking at inside the net. Nate, you got to seal deep so we can catch paint touches. You dribble, they're digging, now they dig. Right? You got to just kick it out and play. Right? Be ready to shoot it on the kick out. Right? Down here, we got to fight in the front of the post. They're in the double bonus. Right? We might have to use some, some throws right, to protect ourselves. But we got to fight in the front of the post and then stay solid. Stay solid, stay solid. I love it. Keep your composure. It's a long game. Okay, got out to a rough start, but you can inch your way back in by doing the little things offensively and defensively. Meanwhile, Keelan Martin, a big story in this game. In two games against Villanova this year, he had 24 and 8 in the upset and 30 in the loss. He was 12 for 16 from behind the arc against the Wildcats. And right now, he's scoreless. 0 for 2. I think he has to play a little bit more aggressive because he has all the tools. And sometimes your team is looking for a spark. Keenan Mark can be that spark, especially on the offensive end of the court. Now Baldwin back in as well. He had the 30-point game last night. He's 0 for 2, no points as well. And the two top scorers have yet to get on the board. Bridges got the ball. With the basket, Baldwin, and he's finally on. Well, what a read that time with Baldwin because Martin was denied out front. That left the gap open for Baldwin. Just a skirmish down, right down the lane. Nice little runner inside. Bridges pops out on the baseline. Six to shoot. Spell up top. Pascal three to shoot. Pascal. And it's. Guts. You got forward to forward, center to center, passing to each other. At the end of the shot clock, and one can create a shot and knock down the three. Sometimes when you watch Villanova, it feels like you're watching a version of the Golden State Warriors. Meanwhile, McDermott, he's playing like Dougie McBuckets lately in this tournament. 
Uh, he could be huge for him because he can stress the defense. But back to your comment, the reason why you say that too about Villanova is because you have five shooters on the court. You have five playmakers basically as well. So what do you take away? Do the defense. Cross court, Pascal. This time he drives. That kid is a freight train and he commits the offensive foul. He talked about McDermott having an impact on the offensive end right here slides his feet That shoulder lower right into the chest able to get it in and then once again Pascal <laughs> Stop go hesitate to get a bounce put up a three Tell you what Eric Pascal Put a pickup next year Watch out because he's gonna have the green light Baldwin Jorgensen backs it up. Down the lane. Rejected by Bridges. Into the hands of Booth. Pascal, the trailer. Booth deep in the corner. Didn't hit the rim. Shot clock does not reset. Spellman with 20 to go. Inside. Rims up. Martin to Fowler. Good position. And Bridges digs it out. Fowler had deep position like Jordan was talking about, but that time kind of rushed his shot. Now Villanova will slow it up. Pascal starting to put in work now. Baldwin brings it up the floor. Over dribbles. Tied up. And the arrow favors Butler. Early on, Nova Nation spreading the wealth around the three-point line. But again, accurate pinpoint passes. If you're a shooter, you want it in your shooting pocket to catch, square, and let it go. Villanova 5 of 12 from the three-point line. They shoot 39.5% on the season. That ranks 25th in the nation. Inside, Martin, and he finally gets a bucket. They were not happy about that. Underneath out of bounds, you allow you got to cut down the lane and then an interior pass right to the teeth of the defense for a layup. 33-19. Even Chinzo backing up on Jurgensen. Elevates it and hits. Patience. First basket of the night for the Big Ragu. Jorgensen. Got the back to the left hand. Fights off his man and makes it down. Five points. For Paul Jorgensen at two last night at 23 in their upset win in December at Hinkle against Villanova. Booth. Tell you what, Phil Booth could just play. Period. Squared up, up his man, but he got to a spot. Two dribbles. I mean, that's all you need. You get by, get your shoulders by, be able to get to your spot. So valuable on this team offensively. Remember, he had the big 20 point game in the national championship for Jay Wright. Keelan Martin on the baseline, leads in and hits. Butler trying to find a rhythm now. Starting to find a rhythm. 37 to 23. They've been down in this game by as many as 21. DiVincenzo drives, stops, left footer, off the heel, spell the rebound, and he's fouled. Bill Booth coming off a good game last night, a five-tool player can hit you with any and everything offensively. Finally, Martin able to get inside, up and under, soft touch. Maybe that'll get them going. Villanova in control on top.
37 to 23 with 223 remaining in the first half. This next song is all about my $20 filler. Eight pieces of Kentucky Fried Chicken, all the fixings, and it'll feed your family of four. Hit it, boys. A one and a two. And we're out of time. It's finger licking good. There's a reason you're here. It's in your blood. The primal need to pitch yourself <laughs> against the unknown. And to do so, dear shopper, requires the very finest of wares. Let's get to it. Rated RP to him. Land Rover, above and beyond. Friends, colleagues, gathered here are the world's finest insurance experts. Rodney, mastermind of discounts like Safe Driver, Paperless, the list goes on. How about a discount for long list? Gold. Mara, you save our customers hundreds for switching almost effortlessly. It's a gift. And Jamie. Present. Together, we are unstoppable. So, what are we gonna do? Insurance, that's kind of what we do here. Look, I'm gonna level with you guys. We're out of Bud Light. And they have some! So dilly dilly! Here's to the friends you can always count on. The Bulldogs were down by as many as 21 at one point. They've cut the deficit now to 14. And coming away on the Jeep Grand Cherokee halftime report, we're going to relive that thrilling overtime in our first semifinal. Let's take you inside the Providence locker room. And what's March without a thrilling buzzer beater? Am I right? I'm right. Guys, we'll see you at the break. All right, Zona, thank you very much. As you take a look at the stars from game one, Kyron Cartwright with 15 points, and Alpha Diallo had 17 Friars coming back after being down by as many as 17 in the game. Forced it to overtime and they ended up winning it. And some other tournament heroes today, Diallo, along with these two young men. Cream, Bruton right there, buzzer beat, of course, only a tournament player. And how about Colin Sexton? Unbelievable. I mean, Sexton, 31 points, he's long, he's athletic, a bully type guard. Keelan Martin right here. He has to he has to come up big. I mean, he's the catalyst for this offense. And sometimes you need to force the pressure a little bit, force the mm -hmm. offense within the scheme of thing, of course. But he has the green light. Spellman at the line. And the first one good. Villanova shot 57 percent versus Georgetown in their regular season finale. They shot 57% versus Marquette last night, and they're shooting 57% right now. And their win back on February 10th against this Butler team, they shot 50% for the game, but also got to the free throw line with 23 attempts. 39-23, 214 to go. Mark. Backs up on Gillespie. He's got an advantage. Takes the jump. Even oh. Shinzo with the rebound. I like the shot, though. Recognize he had a mismatch. He was just unable to complete it. Gillespie deep. Oh, oh. Omari Spellman gets it again. Look at him. Work hard and lay it in. Big fella. Omari Spellman with seven. I remember early in Evan Turner's career when he was at Ohio State, we were doing a game and he came to you and he said, they don't run anything for me, Jimmy. What am I supposed to do? He was like, and what did you say to him? I, t I told him he's going to get enough touches. You have to be aggressive. Don't try to force it, but you're going to have touches, my man. Be patient and understand how they're playing you defensively. I also told him to go get it himself. That's right. As Baldwin gets to the basket with a layup. 
We saw how that turned out, National Player of the Year, <laughs> you know. 41-25. Closing in on a minute to go here in the first half. And Gillespie and DiVincenzo. No miscommunication, but no miscommunication here. Mari Spillman inside, just out hustling, out fighting, out battling the Butler Bulldogs inside. Mara Baldwin, sneaky. Jurgensen misses a three. Here comes DiVincenzo with Bridges. DiVincenzo to the basket, blocked. Jorgensen the other way. 42 seconds to go. Inside, knocked away by Spellman. Another great play by this freshman. Activity right there on the defensive end. And a timeout. Called by the Wildcats with 27 seconds remaining in the first half. Big play, big play, baby, big play. That's yes, it, that's it, that's it. Now we're in. MVP, baby, MVP. Is that Mike? Yeah, he lost his wall or something. He's on his way. Classic Mike. Catch all the action at Buffalo Wild Wings. There's no bigger basketball experience than the Big East Tournament at Madison Square Garden in New York City. You pull up and you're underneath the garden and you, you just feel the electricity. And then you walk to the freight elevator and no one says a word. And then those elevator doors open up. You can hear the buzz of the crowd. There's no vibe like that anywhere in the world. You know it's on. This taste of the Big East Tournament is sponsored by Guinness. Here's to us all. And Jay Wright, now Villanova's all-time winning as coach, having passed Al Severance's 57-year-old record last night. Forty-one to twenty-five, his team can do no wrong in this first half. Two-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Vincenzo, Booth, Spellman, Pascal, and Bridges. Now with 10 to shoot. Pascal, 7 to shoot. Hands it off to Booth. 4 to shoot. Booth pulls up for 3. Bam. Still Booth. Wow. What a player. 12 points for Booth, Villanova, 44, Butler, 25 at halftime. Patience, shot clock, game cut clock awareness. Let me get to my spot, no need to rush. Crossover, pull up, bang. Great teams, Gus, don't panic. The shot clock goes down, they know where they want to get to. Villanova started this game with a 19 to nothing lead. Now let's go to Lisa Byington. Yeah, that 19 nothing lead was in the first five minutes. How did you dictate this game from the start? We came, we came ready to play defensively. Um, I feel good about our defense, but we have great respect for Butler. They, they are known for playing every possession to the last second. They're going to keep coming, so we still got to play 20 minutes. How many times this year have you said we've become ready to play defensively? We, we have not shown up defensively some games. We have definitely not shown up. So we're getting better, but we got we got to play another 20 minutes. All right, thanks for the honesty. Gus. All right, Lisa, that's the end of the first half with the score. Villanova 44, Butler 25, Rob Stone, Donnie Marshall, and Seton Hall head coach Kevin Willick will be back with the Jeep Grand Cherokee halftime report right after this. I take a breath, I'm not gonna lose. This is what I came here to do. With
the perfect balance of capability, technology, and efficiency, Jeep Cherokee Limited has what it takes so you can go anywhere. Get 0% APR financing for 60 months, plus $1,000 bonus cash on 2018 Jeep Cherokee models. With the press of a button, you can order two medium, two topping pizzas for $5.99 each with the new Pie Tops. And when your pizza arrives, you can even pause the game with the new Pie Tops. Get two medium, two topping pizzas just $5.99 each because no one out pizzas the hut. We had long deployments in Iraq. Really grateful that USA was able to take care of my family while I was overseas serving. It was my very first car accident. We were hit from behind. I called USAA, and the first thing they asked was, are you OK? They always thank you for your service, which is nice because as a spouse, you serve too. We're the Hells, and we're USAA members for life. See how much you could save with USAA by bundling your auto and home insurance. Get a quote today. There's nothing better than date empanadas. Extra spicy mole. I'll talk tacos. Chicken. Got in asada. I'll confess. Hard shell. Solo con Coca-Cola. My tacos are best with the Coke. This ladder is special. This first step, it's not even here. It's in the gym where the first practice was held. Climbing it takes months of twists and turns and tournaments. At its peak, you won't be five feet off the floor. You'll be on top of the world, holding the, holding the best trophy in all the sports, a piece of nylon. Continental Tire, for what you do. All right, let's have the confetti. Our global society faces complex issues that demand action. At Villanova University, faculty and students wrestle with real-world problems. Knowledge gained in classrooms is applied to find real-world solutions. And strong in-country partnerships turn ideas into meaningful change. Villanova's rigorous academics provide the tools. Our Augustinian values fuel our passion. Ignite change. Go no. Constipated? Trust number one doctor recommended Dolcolax. Use Dolcolax tablets for gentle, dependable relief, suppositories for relief in minutes, and Dolcoese for comfortable relief of hard stools. Dolcolax, designed for dependable relief. Hey, need fast heartburn relief? Try Cool Mint Zantac. It releases a cooling sensation in your mouth and throat. Zantac works in as little as 30 minutes. Nexium can take 24 hours. Try Cool Mint Zantac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. Glasses and contacts, you need them to see, but they put such a strain on your life. Due to new advances in vision improvement technology, LASIK is now affordable for almost everyone, with procedures starting as low as $299 per eye. And over 1 million procedures performed by our trusted independent surgeons, LASIK surgery is a sensible, safe, and affordable solution to improve your vision. So call now to talk to a LASIK Vision Institute counselor and schedule your free evaluation. 1-800-264-3225. Welcome to the Jeep Grand Cherokee Halftime Report, coming away from the floor of the world's most famous arena. Kel Bridges, so impressive last night, continuing it. Quiet so far for Jalen Brunson, six points in 10 foul play minutes, but Jay Wright and company in cruise control. Rob Stone, Seton Hall head coach Kevin Willard. Donnie Marshall here with you. You go back to last night, Butler dropped Seton Hall by one. It was a chaotic 40-minute game and there may be some hangover going on here because Villanova took out the drums and made a whole lot of noise early on as we focus on that start courtesy of our Jeep Grand Cherokee highlights in the first half. Yeah I mean this is something early in the game right off the jump ball we talk about this every game this is a set play for Nova they try to get a quick three and try to they're like Mike Tyson they come at you real quick and when they're passing the basketball and everyone is ball faking getting into the lane making the extra pass they are so hard to defend a little harsh dropped Seton Hall you know he coaches Seton Hall stuff. I just I don't know if you realize that dropped Seton Hall is a little harsh but I digress to have 45 percent shooting so great game plan for Villanova all right let's take a look at the Jeep first half stats again look at the shooting percentage Butler was able to knock in some shots and really get the number up a little bit but they struggled offensively the turnover seven a little bit more and then 
Villanova doing a great job of converting those turnovers into points, 12 of them. Let's go to Lisa. I was running out of players to play, is what Laval Jordan told me in the first five minutes of this game. He said every single player was biting on the Villanova shot fake. Defense got us in this hole. Defense is going to have to get us back. Possession by possession is what I told my guys about this comeback. we got to hit singles. We can't swing for the fences, guys. All right, thank you very much. So we start the second half. Wildcats with the basketball. Here's Spellman, guarded by Weidman, takes him down into the hole, jump hook, short. McDermott pulls it out of the air. Baldwin with speed into the front court. McDermott, nice look, Weidman off the glass and in. Well, good time. Defensively, you got the stop you wanted. You got out in transition for Butler, able to get an easy basket inside. I like the energy early, even though it was one play, but I like the energy for Butler. Remember, Butler was down 19 to nothing to start this game. Brunson, and out of bounds. Again, out in transition, you stay wide. Now you're able to get inside the lane. The help defense comes, you just make a play. There it is, drop it off. 44 to 27. Villanova led by as many as 21 in that first half. Weidman now guarded by Spellman. Freshman versus a senior. And a steal. Brunson pushes it forward. He's got Pascal trailing. Pascal oh. dribble gets it up. No. I thought Pascal should have stayed on the right hand side of the, the basket. He had an easy layup, but he took himself into traffic. Baldwin with six points, scoop shot underneath Brunson, and it goes down. Uh -huh. 44-29, different energy level for Butler to start the second half. Yeah, a little bit more focus, defensively getting multiple stops, and then using the speed and quickness to get out in transition. Another great defensive play. And here's Booth with the defensive play, and he's fouled by Badley. You talk about the energy on the defensive end. It transfers over to offense. Now you feel confident. Mar Baldwin just tricky inside. I love his ability to use his off hand too. So Phil Booth. 12 points in the first half. DiVincenzo comes in and replaces Bridges. And both free throws good. 46 to 29. Villanova picking up full court now. Baldwin loses an edge, keeps his dribble alive. <laughs> Little huddle the whole trying to right there. That's right, Curly Neal. Let's see if they can get Keelan Martin going. Badly. And hits. <laughs> Henry Badley, his first basket of the game. DiVincenzo down the lane, and a blocking foul on Wyman. I thought Dante was going to try to flush that one down. Yeah, but miscommunication by Badley McDermott. You want to switch, but they didn't. Then he's able to get inside, and why not? It's MSG, baby. Harlem Globe Trotters come to play. Get down, keep the ball and dribble alive. Oh, he's missing his knee pads and the red, white, and blue one. Even Chinzo. As Bridges comes back in and Booth heads to the bench. Booth with 14 points. One. Second one off the mark. And the rebound goes to Keelan Martin. Martin, he has DiVincenzo on him. Baldwin cut off on a switch. DiVincenzo guarding. Pulls up short. 
DiVincenzo has his ball knocked away to Bridges for three. Even when things go wrong, they go right. It, you know, it's just it's a, that kind of night for Villanova. Good defense initially, but DiVincenzo stayed with it and made the play to boot. I mean, to uh, Bridges. And Spellman with active hands knocks that one out of bounds. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, and Chiefs <laughs> Central kind of stays with it. Just flips it. Bridges, thank you. I'll take three of those. Gillespie comes in. Pascal out. McDermott, the inbounder. Martin sets for three. And good. Beautiful stroke. That's what they need. Keelan Martin is a prolific scorer for this team. Second in the Big East in scoring behind Shimori Ponds of St. John's. Bridges down the lane. Oh, beautifully done. So long, so elegant. Mikel Bridges with 12. And the ability for Villanova to come back and respond after giving up the three out of bounds. Badly goes to the other side now. McDermott. Gillespie closes. Tend to shoot. Baldwin. Stop and start to the hole. Wraps it around and out of bounds. 15-58 to play. Second half. Wildcats with a 52-34 lead. Keenan Martin able to quick hitter play. Three ball. Maybe that gets his juices flowing. On the opposite end, Mikhail Bridge is using his length and ability to keep Villanova ahead. Pac-12 basketball in March. This year able to really fight their way back into it. And the first four he feels that will be out. Wow, how about Arizona State? Such a high. Beginning of the season, running through sub Brandon to some problems. Conference play at Notre Dame when Colson went down, it really hurt their momentum as well. 15:58 to play, second half. Five on the shot clock for Butler. Baldwin breaks to the ball, has it in the corner, takes it, fade away. Jorgensen with the offensive rebound. And a whistle. Looks like a foul coming up against Villanova. Gillespie, his second. Right, right in the back, underneath, yeah. Got up and underneath from McNerman's in the air by Gillespie. Bulldogs get a new shot clock. Back door knocked away by Bridges. Picked up by Gillespie. Mikhail Bridges so long. But he stays low in his defensive posi position, which allows him to now spring and react. Meanwhile, DiVincenzo with the layup down low. He has five. And Kamar Baldwin looked for a little bit of baseline support and help from his teammates, and no one was there smartly. DiVincenzo, he's opposite, opposite side of the rim. Jorgensen gets into the backboard. Gillespie diving for it. Can't get to it. Jorgensen slipping off balance and he's bumped and fouled. Wow. Probing, probing. You don't stop him. It's a switch. Dermot had to stay at home with Gillespie. Couldn't provide any support on the baseline. DiVincenzo knew it. Able to spring and use that athleticism. Soft touch on the opposite side of the rim. Jorgensen at the free throw line. Average 10 points a game on the regular season. First one good. As Christian David comes in. 
Pascal Spellman back in for Villanova. And Badley will check out. back in he replaces David 54 to 36 it's a little full court pressure right here now badly back in as Jorgensen goes out get some length quick trap in the front court Pascal and Jalen Brunson a three it's too easy for these guys. Right, you beat the press over the top, shrink the defense, and then you make quick decision once the ball comes out of the post. You're able to get a high percentage shot like Jalen Brunson. Brunson with nine. Pascal call for the foul. His second. Think about this Butler team tonight. They just don't look explosive. They don't. I, I mean, on the defensive end, they're not causing any kind of havoc, any kind of deflections. Villanova is able just to maneuver their way through the defense to get any shot they want. Wide with the offensive rebound and stick back. There you go. 57 to 38. Wideman with four. Brunson. Stop and start to the hole. Underneath the basket, and it goes out of bounds. Yeah, Brunson just lost it, but a heck of a move that time with the stutter, stop, and go. Uh, 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 okay. And at the end, right here, just, just couldn't handle it to finish it, but. Jorgensen in the corner badly. Turns, leads. Even Shinzo, good defense and the rebound. Diagonal pass. Mikel Bridges in the corner. Let's it fly. And good. Wow. Bridges with 15. Largest lead of the game now for Villanova. 60 to 38. Healing Martin. Stolen away, Brunson, he's got Bridges with him. Brunson, trying to squeeze it through, and Jorgensen, good anticipation, takes it away. That could have been thrown at the rim for an alley-oop for Bridges. Jorgensen to the basket. Won't stay down, Pascal with the board. It off the screen. Money. Set up. No misdirection. Come off the screen to the baseline. Allow it to be reset. Set your opponent up, and now you catch and curl. Great patience and execution. Martin down the lane. Wide with a rebound. And finish. 62 to 40. It's fun to watch a team like Villanova. How they get into their stuff on both ends of the floor. Everybody gets touches. Pascal. Now spelling down the lane. The kick in the corner wide open. Again, Mikael Bridges. 18 points. They say he is a potential lottery pick in the NBA draft. And that he will most likely leave after this season. And it all starts for him on defense. Ball. Double punt. Got it. Up and down. Time out. 
And a timeout on the floor. Looks like Villanova wants to think things over. 65 to 42, our score. Back to the garden right after this. Sixty-five, forty-two. Val George done such a fine job in his first year, replacing Chris Holtman, who went over to Ohio State and became the Big Ten Coach of the Year, leading the Buckeyes. Runs a double team, moves back in. Ivicenzo runs in a three. How simple can it get? Villanova has made eight in a row, and they're shooting 58%. Bridges is seven for eight. He's not on the floor right now. Jorgensen to McDermott. And another rebound for DiVincenzo. One good thing with this Villanova team, the guards do an excellent job of rebounding the ball in the defensive glass. Booth, wide open three. Bobby Ryan to tried to keep it alive. Baseline, Wyman, and he jams it down. No one got back. Crosby Roundtree was the last player down the court, and no one for Villanova recognized that Wyman was tippy toeing on the baseline behind him. Runs it again for three. And again he hits. Boogie runs it with 17. Seventy-one to forty-four. Jurgens it. And he's fouled. Jalen Brunson, though, has got it going right now. 9.54 to go. Wildcats up 71 to 44. And the combination of Jalen Brunson and Mikhail Bridges have been dominant for Jay Wright's team. Well, Gus, these two players complement each other. Jalen Brunson, methodical in his work. Don't take a lot of bad shots. Allows the offense to work for him. Outstanding leader, Mikhail Bridges, just continues to expand his game and grow right in front of our eyes. Like I said, came in as a defensive-minded player. But now, the offensive end is where he's putting his work in. And these two have the last 17 points for Villanova. At the free throw line right now, Jorgensen, who has seven. And he gets it first. Both free throws good for Paul Jorgensen. He checks out of the game. Baldwin replaces him. On the court for Villanova, Gillespie, Brunson, Bridges, Booth, and Spellman. Bridges in the corner again. Spellman with the rebound. Couldn't hold on as McDermott takes it away from him. Keelan Martin the other way. Takes a long jump shot. Saved, but picked up by Spellman, who finds Gillespie. Bridges again in the corner. Saved by Brunson to McDermott. Baldwin, head of steam to the hole. And good. Wow. That time, Spellman tried to avoid the contact and actually retreated back, and Baldwin, with his athleticism, was still able to get that to roll in. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ten to shoot across court. Bridges. Touch pass. Brunson. Bridges keeps it up alive. Booth slipping. Has it stripped and taken away by Baldwin. Up and in. Baldwin. Back to back buckets now. Yeah, when he has a full head of steam and he's coming downhill at you, he's so tricky. Remember, he's a lefty going to his right. But he finishes so well, especially with those floaters with his right hand. So you have to guard on both. You just don't know how he's going to come at you and finish. Gillespie catch and shoot. Everybody gets into the act for Villanova. Colin with five. 74 to 50. Nice pass from Keelan Martin. Gillespie. Now moves from deep. Oh, Spamble with the rebound. Gets it again. Quick jumper. And he's fouled. Kids talented. 74-52. Back after this. There are a chosen few in possession of an X Factor most can only dream of. Capable of bringing a packed building to its feet with a simple wave of their arms. They don't just inspire school spirit, they embody it. Statues are built in their honor. Yep, there's no big man on campus bigger than the one in the big furry suit. And this Villanova team has been able to operate on all cylinders again. Taking advantage of your defense, 14 points, or 16 points off of turnovers. Thing that's really killing Butler, Villanova, 13 of 27 from the three point line. That's 48%. Butler, 4 4 11. We're talking about teams that are built to make a run. This Villanova team can spread you out and shoot it from deep. And they have multiple guys that can put it on the deck to finish at the rim. But they got playmakers too, guys. They, they pass the ball with efficiency, they look out for each other. Amari Spellman at the line. Rookie of the year in this conference. Jalen Brunson, player of the year in this conference. As Jorgensen comes in. Brunson with the chance to become the national player of the year. I think more radical. Big time, you think about Mich Mikhail Bridges. Most improved, I would say, in regards to overall game and expectation level. So a lot of and the players of the year on this Villanova roster. What do they say when team goals are met, individual goals always come. Villanova. Baldwin. Martin, guarded by Bridges, receives, takes him down the lane, jump hook, and he's fouled. So that is foul number one for Mikhail Bridges. And that's another thing. He's such a great defender, but he knows how to stay out of foul trouble. Well, he does. And that time he fought Keelan Martin on the block. In front of him, pushed him out, and the Keelan was created to get to the lane. Pick up a foul. So Keelan Martin at the free throw line. A young man from Louisville, Kentucky, Ballard High School. First free throw up, and no good. Three things you need to know about Keelan. One dinner guest, Jeff Van wow. Gundy. I got, I got some stories for him. I can tell him about Jeff. I played for him. And his first celebrity crush, Candace Parker. Who's Candace Parker? You know who that is. Who is it? L.A. basketball player. L.A. Sparks. Oh, okay. The great Candace Parker. That's right. The great Candace That's Parker. Right. Played in Tennessee. Uh, is she married? I think she was. Okay. To Williams that played at Duke. Yep. They have a, they have a child together. 
you watch a lot of reality TV. <laughs> I live in LA, my Real man. Housewives. Nah, and bro, nah, love bro. And bro. And all that crap. Nah, man, just I'm, I'm nosy every once in a while. That's all. Here's DiVincenzo in the corner, extra pass. The best big fires. DiVincenzo gets the offensive rebound. Now Pascal down the lane. Extra pass. Bridge again. Seventy-six fifty-two, six twenty-five to go. Semifinals of the Big East tournament. The winner to take on Providence in the final. Friars with a huge win, coming back to knock off top-seeded Xavier after being down by seventeen, force a game in overtime. Badly got it. Every Badly looked pretty good. I mean, despite what's happening with Butler, he came in, came in and played some quality minutes, great defense, knocking down some shots. The teardrop short. Pascal keeps it alive and taps it in. Pascal with 10. Ten point seven rebound. Backdoor wide. Pins on the glass and a foul coming up either. Bridges or DiVincenzo. So Bridges call for the foul, his second. As Weidman goes to the line, what a play last night. For Tyler Weidman to score the game winning basket for Butler as they defeated Seton Hall. Just a great shot at the end of that game with all of his teammates. They just jumped into the seniors' arms. That's what you live for. Ball when able to get to the basket, draw the defense, and Wyman smartly put his nose to the basket, so to speak, and followed the ball. Second free throw, good. 78-57. Up the sideline, Samuels cross court Gillespie. And he has it blocked and he's fouled by Weidman. Here's the play yesterday with Weidman. Yeah, dribble drive, Weidman right there, fouling the ball to the rim. The highs and lows of. You know, win last night, last second, you come out, expect to really have a great game, and this Villanova team has just played on another level, but you recruit, you try to figure it out, you get ready for the next stage, because this Butler team, you get it together, you can make some noise in the, in the tournament. Wyman checking out now, 527 to go. Gillespie has done a nice job this season. In you can see that his body has changed this season. He's gotten stronger. He had the hand injury early. Seven points for Gillespie. Ball point. No call. Out of bounds. Villanova ball. How much do you lift as a basketball player during the season? It depends because at the beginning, the, the the workouts are more regimented because you got to get in shape, you got to get ready. But as the season wears down, you want the maintenance part of it. You don't lift as heavy or as long, but you got to maintain the strength. Spellman sets his feet for three. Yeah, good. The big fella can really step out. He's got great range. 12 points, 11 rebounds. Villanova beats you with the press, Gus, by throwing it over the top instead of one person trying to beat it by themselves. Five or three. 83 to 60. And as a basketball player, when you get in that weight room, Jimmy, what are the things you're working on? You're not doing a whole lot of bench pressing and stuff. Like well, no, you, you really want to bring travel. You really want to keep, I think, the strength in your legs because that's the first thing that tends to go when you have a long season, especially this Villanova team who was cut short handed because of injuries. So then you really have to monitor the workout. So. A lot with the lower body. Speaking of lower body, Keenan Martin got his legs into that shot. Ten points for Martin. 
83-63. Runs it up the sideline. And Booth a three. Jorgensen with the rebound. Approaching the four-minute mark of the second half, Jorgensen takes a three in transition. And, and out. Runs it, holds it down. Samuel sets. Here's Mark. Martin for three. Keelan Martin just not his night. Ten points. He's their leading scorer over 20 a game. Brunson tried to flip it up. Martin four for ten. Think about it is only ten shots. And a blocking foul called against Booth. 325 to play. 20-point lead for Villanova. In the West. The Big East Tournament at Madison Square Garden. Get tickets now. Still to come here on FS1, Andy Enfield and Two Seed USC. They look to enhance their tournament profile and get to tomorrow's Pac-12 championship game on FS1. They've got Oregon coming up next once This one is in the books. We'll have the winning head coach on the set with us to talk about their championship showdown tomorrow, guys, with Providence. All right, Stoner, thank you very much. Now, Howie Schwab, this is what he thinks. Here are the number one seeds. Two coming from the Big East, Villanova and Xavier, but Xavier losing in the semifinals of the tournament today. You think they'll keep it? I think they'll keep it. I think Xavier put enough work in to earn that number one seed. I remember my junior year, my sophomore year, Gus, we lost our last two games, even though we split um, the regular season title with Indiana. Lost our last two, but we still ended up getting the number one seed that year in the Midwest. So that was a tough loss. Didn't get to the championship game, but I do believe Xavier put in enough work to get it done. Who'd you lose to in the tournament that year? Uh, we lost to St. John's, actually, in the Silver Dome in the Sweet 16. Robert Verdan, Malik Seeley. Wow. Yep. Rest in peace, Malik yep. Seeley. As Jurgensen hits the first. Ten points for Paul. And he gets a second. Thompson comes in now. Jorgensen heads to the bench. In, looks like he'll be called for the foul. But that's the right thing. You want to turn the offensive player right back into the help that time. <clears throat> the last we got two married to the sideline, didn't have enough room to work with, and almost turned it over. Booth kicks it out. Pascal open. Ball in the other way. Takes a three. Rebound. Booth. 2.57 to go. The winner to take on Providence tomorrow in the final. Pass. Nice slip. Gillespie put it on him. And you know what I love about this, too, is that Villanova is up big. But yet and still, the execution hasn't waned off in regards to passing the ball and getting into their offensive sets. Cross court, bad lead in the corner. Bridges with a rebound, quick outlet pass. Gillespie, he's got DiVincenzo with him. Here's Booth, the trailer to the hole. Strip, take it away. Baldwin, up the floor. Baseline. And one for Keelan Martin. In transition, head up, ball win. Keelan Martin able to absorb the contact and just keep playing. And I talked about Villanova here. 
Coaches always say you play it all the way through, and now you're able to get down low. The defense is spread out, okay? And you got an opening. That's executing all the way through the end of the game. Bridges leaves with 18 points on 7 of 11 shooting and 5 rebounds. 2.06 to go. Christian David back in as Keelan Martin done for the night. Not his best outing. Martin finishing with 13 points. Villanova defense just really tough from the very beginning. Remember, they got out to a 19 to nothing lead in this game. Even Chinzo dumps it down, calls it round three up and in. Well, Jay Wright challenges guys to become better, get back to playing Villanova defense, and, and give them credit because I think they got wore down a little bit with the injuries. The bodies weren't reacting. You had the Institute Phil Booth back in the lineup. It seems like they got it all figured out right here, at least in this game. Even Chinzo with the sixth rebound. He's got six assists as well to go along with his five points off the bench. Gillespie. Even Chinzo catch and shoot. And out of bounds. So Jay Wright starting to clear his bench now. As Booth heads out. Good performance by Booth. Walk-ons coming in. Tom Leibig. Also, Tim Delaney. For the final minute. Thompson. Long jump shot. That went off the mark. Campbell Donovan in the game for Butler. So the Wildcats walking into the front court. And a 10-second violation called against Gillespie. <laughs> Villanova will improve their record to 29-4. and four. And that'll set up an interesting matchup with Providence. Friars beat him at the dunk. The last time they faced each other, they split the season series. Samuels with the board. Villanova won 89-69 in Philly on January 23rd against Providence. Providence won at 76-71 in Providence on February 14th. Cartwright led the way with 17. The last time the teams met in the Big East Tournament was in 2016 in the semis. Nova won it 76-68. They have never met in the championship game. The final score, Villanova 87, Butler 68, Bridges with 18, Brunson with 17, Booth with 14, Spellman with 12 points and 12 rebounds, Pascal with 12 points for the number two seed. Yeah. So it all comes down to this. Providence Villanova for all the marbles. Tomorrow at 6.30. Villanova will be play playing in their fourth straight final. The last to do that, Pitt, 2001 through 2004. 87 to 68 the final. Just a dominant performance, and again, I'm going to go back to the defense. That is going to be the calling card, I think, of this Villanova team to first try to take care of business versus Providence. But then as they move forward to the NCAA tournament, you know they can score the ball. Their biggest challenge has been when their defense has not been on the same page. Eighty-seven to sixty-eight, Villanova. Let's go to Lisa Byington. Yeah, we got a couple of uh, happy Nova players here. Jalen Brunson, we'll start with you. You guys got out to a nineteen to nothing start. What impressed you about the beginning of this game? I was just glad to see our team come out with um, a great attention to detail. We were able to get stops. We were making our shots, but uh, even if we weren't making shots, we were going down there on defense, knowing that we're getting stuff every time. 
And I'm just happy the way we had our mentality out there today. Yeah, I was going to say, how much pride do you take in trying to be a good defensive team at this point? I mean, we were trying to take so much pride in that. I mean, coach challenged us towards the end of the end of the year. And uh, we, we accepted the challenge. We want to be the best defensive team we can be. So we're going to keep working for it. You guys watched the end of that Providence upset. What was your takeaway from that game? Uh, two, you know, really good teams going at it uh, at the Garden, and just like you know, the Big East tournament always uh, always has been. So, um, I mean, hey, we're gonna have a handful tomorrow. I know Coach is gonna have us right, set up in the right places. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mikhail Bridges. How easy is it with uh, Jalen Brunson as a teammate? Uh, it's very easy. You know, he's a great leader and a great player too. So he looks for for everybody. He can do everything on the court. But the main thing is that you know he's our leader one of our leaders and it shows you on the court you know he vocally he talks this is the right positions and i love playing with him you guys were impressive from the start but what impressed you the most about this win just us sticking with it and keep the fit you know we had a big lead early and never let them really cut it down low it just kept you know kept going at them and uh you know bench came in and kept you know kept it going now you're off to the championship game. Thank you for the time. Thank you. Rob? 24-point quarterfinal win, 19-point semifinal win for Jay Wright and his Villanova Wildcats. Kevin Willard, head coach of Seton Hall, joins us. Donnie, Rob, back here with you. Coach, let's talk about that start. 19-0, you score a bucket in the first five seconds. I mean, it was a, a gut punch right from the outset. Was that part of your game plan? No, nah, no. Nah. When we throw it up to Mikhail Bridges, we were supposed to run a play, and he just shoots it. <laughs> then you know everything's going to be good because I would have killed him if he missed it. <laughs> I tell you what, you, you got to be, you got to like where your team is right now. You know the way you played over the last really three weeks. I think you're really back. I'm so happy Phil Booth is back. He's really starting to play great. Thanks. Yeah. You know, even when he came back, we weren't we weren't the same initially, but I think he's starting to feel comfortable again. It's amazing. We've had three broken hands. We're starting to figure out like how to get back from this thing. So but I think he's feeling good tonight, Coach. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so trust is a big thing, especially this time of year for a head coach, right? And we've talked last week. We talked about how much you're trying to find trust in your defense. Obviously, offensively, you look to be pretty trustworthy. You're not. I don't see the hands up yelling at guys on offense, but defensively, it seems like tonight. You found a little, you might have found something that you didn't have the last three weeks yeah, or so. Yeah, we did. It actually started in our game against Seton Hall where we, they're, they're so See, We tough. seem to start everything off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, but they're tough, and we knew it, and we go into their place, and we played a, an, uh, an overtime game, and we they played great defense on us, and our defense kept us in it. We hadn't really had a game like that all year. Yeah. So we started to build from there. This might have been our best defensive game tonight. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I, again, I like being the fact that it was such an easy game that you guys could talk about what cologne you guys are wearing. <laughs> he gave me a nice gift, man. He gave me Tom Ford cologne. He gave me, he's my boy. I appreciate it. I love, I love when you can talk about the that after a game oh, and yeah, how no. hard you are. Yes, what yes. are we going to do tomorrow morning? The smell had to match the look. I won't tell you what he was wearing before that. That's that. right. Hey, Coach, real, real quick, how was your Valentine's Day this year? <laughs> it has nothing to do with cologne. Last time you saw Providence. Yes. Three of 20 from three. Yeah, I forgot about that. Turnovers. I'm, I'm here to remind you. Kevin, you know, you know, they play us very similar to Seton Hall. Really physical, really disciplined defensively. And um, and they've given us trouble, man. It, it, we've always had tight games with Seton Hall, tight games with Providence. And especially in this tournament. The, the, every time we played them in this tournament, it's been a one or two point game. Every time we played Seton Hall, one or two point game. But that's what the Big East is all about. It'll. It'll be nice and ugly tomorrow night, I promise. Uh, the game before you uh, was an absolute classic going yeah. to overtime. And we had cameras in your locker room. You guys watching the yeah. conclusion of it. You can see it right here. And so this is J.P. Mikura. And in position. You know, both players did exactly what you would want your players to do. J.P. <laughs> goes strong, confidently to the basket. What do you think your guys are thinking right now? They called a charge or... What do they think? It's a charge or it's a block? I was inside the locker room and they were ahead on the feed yep. and we heard them all yell. We came running out to see what happened and because we didn't see it on our feed yet. But um, hey, they they love Big East basketball, man. Yeah. This is such it's a great time of year. Really Being here at the garden, they're, they're having the time of their lives and, and it, 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 there's nothing like playing here, man, right? It's, it's, the, gra it's the greatest. It's, it's so hard to explain. It, it is. Well, we always talk about what's more important, winning the Big East tournament or getting to a Sweet 16, right? We don't, we, the coaches try yeah. to figure out it's that valuable to yeah. us.
playing here in, in New York. Well, you got one more in New York tomorrow night on Fox, 6.30 Eastern. Coach, congratulations. We'll Thanks, see buddy. you. On good the win. floor again. You look good Providence and smell good. Keep it up. Villanova. By the way, your shoe game is on oh, fire yeah. today. Nice. Winner return. You see why Ed Cooley is in such a great mood. An absolute classic in our first semifinal. But still more college hoops coming your way tonight on FS1. Pac-12 activity. USC, Oregon. Elijah Stewart. 60 made three balls this season to lead the Trojans. That one's coming your way about 22 minutes from Vegas. With the perfect balance of capability, technology, and efficiency, Jeep Cherokee Limited has what it takes so you can go anywhere. Get 0% APR financing for 60 months, plus $1,000 bonus cash on 2018 Jeep Cherokee models. What did you do this weekend? Nothing very interesting. He said the age of heroes would never come again. It has to. I'll take it from here. He's back. Right ain't over yet. My man. This isn't the plan. No, Master Wayne. This is the team. Own Justice League. What's going on here? I'm babysitting. That'll be 50 bucks. You said $30. Yeah, well, it was 30 before my fees, like the pizza ordering fee and the dog sitting fee. And the rummage through your closet fee. Are those my heels? Yeah. Yeah, we're the same size. In shoes. With T-Mobile, taxes and fees are already included. So you get four unlimited lines for just 35 bucks each. March 16th and play the new arcade game only at Dave & Buster's. No hijacker has ever taken a plan this far away. Nobody moves! Critics hail Seven Days in Antibia is a riveting true story. The most daring rescue mission the world has ever seen. Four stars. It will leave you gasping for air. Here we go! Seven Days in Antibia. Rated PG-13. 